Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover minimum ASCII delete sum for two strings. So we are given an input of two strings S1 and S2 and we have to return the lowest ASCII sum of deleted characters to make two strings equal. So let's understand this problem statement with an example. Here is our first example. The word S1 is delete and S2 is lead. So now we are going to check what are the characters we need to delete from both the words to make the word 1 to word 2. So if you take delete, I'm just deleting D, E and E to make the word 2 L E T. So again in word 2, I'm going to delete one E to make the word L E T. Now both the words are same. What are the characters we have deleted? We have deleted a D, two E's from word 1 and one more E from word 2. So these four characters is what we have deleted from this string to make the string 1 to string 2. So this is the string we have deleted from both the strings S1 and S2. So now the ASCII values of a alphabet smaller A starts with 97 and goes in increasing order till Z. So now we have deleted these four characters. The ASCII code of these four characters are 100, 101, and again 101 and 101. So the total is 403. So this is the output we need to return. How are we going to approach this problem? So before approaching this problem, you could relate to the problem which is very similar to something we have already discussed. It is edit distance. Edit distance is actually let us know how many operations we have performed to transform a word S1 to S2. Here it is going to be same. We are going to transform the word S1 to S2, but instead of counting how many operations, we are just going to calculate the ASCII code. So the algorithm is pretty simple. If you want to learn that, you can check that link in my description. So now let's dive into this algorithm and see how we are going to approach this. Consider this example, our string 1 is going to be keep and string 2 is leap. So in this example, how many characters required to convert from, how many characters need to be deleted to convert from string 1 to string 2? In this case, if you see, the last two characters are same. So string KEE -E -E and LEA, -E if you change from the string KE -E to LEA, the solution that is going to be same for that is of keep and leap. Because the last character is similar, so we are not going to touch that character at all. Whatever changes we are going to make, that is whatever characters we are going to delete, are going to be within these three characters. So I'm trying to say, it is a substring of the actual string given. So in this case, the solution arrives at this point itself. That is traversing from index 0 to 3, 0 to 2 of string 1 and 0 to 2 of string 2. Instead of completely traversing 0 to 3 to 0 to 3. So in this case, what I'm trying to say is, we can arrive at our solution at any point of the problem. like by traversing at any point of a substring to other. So in this case, what we are going to do, we are going to get the solution for every possible sub problem or every possible substring of both the strings and arrive at an optimal solution. So you can straight away go for dynamic programming if this is the case. So here, we are going to do it with dynamic programming. So my I am going to have an integer array dp so for better understanding, I'm going to iterate and put the values in form of string instead of integers because for just for our understanding, but our algorithm purely deals with integers to arrive at our solution. So let's take a simple example, C and eat our string. So C represents the rows and the eat represent columns. Here we are going to arrive at our solution at this point. Before filling these cells with values, we have to understand that each cell represents a sub-problem. That is, 
every cell is a sub problem that solves and get a better solution we are going to proceed with whichever is the optimal solution and come up with our final optimal solution at here this point so simply if we are considering this cell this cell is actual answer for how many characters to be deleted from the string yes to make it to e so consider this it is just going to represent how many characters to, do we need to delete from the string s e to make it e a or how many characters should be deleted from both the strings to make it equal simple right so we just gonna fill these let's start filling the rows first so we are starting with this cell and we are going to convert from an empty string to an empty string so how many characters do we need to delete to make strings equal so here it is zero because both the str strings are same and nothing so in this case we are simply going to put a zero effort or zero ascii values so moving on to our second cell in row one that is how many characters or what are the characters you are going to delete to make the string e to empty there is only one character in string two and string one is empty in this case you have to delete e to make the character empty so i'm just going to put e again i'm just in telling we are going to put the characters or strings for our better understanding but our algorithm will actually take the ascii code of e here and moving on to the next cell here the substring is ea and we have to make the string to empty how many characters or what are the characters we would delete we would delete e and a so in this case our algorithm will take the ascii code of e plus a and have the sum here moving on here and we have to consider the string eat and we have to make it to empty string so in this case it will delete all three characters so it will have e a and t consider filling our first column in this case our substring is uh, the string is null and we have to convert it to s s e and s e a in this case we delete s first and s e next and s e a to the last so now coming to this cell let's start filling this cell so what does this cell say as i said it is just a sub problem which states how many characters or what are the characters we gonna delete to make the string yes to e so what what are the characters you will be deleting you will be deleting yes and e to make it equal because they are not same in this case you have to delete both to make it to a null string and make it equal in this case we will add both yes and e to the cell now from yes you have to make the string e a so none of the characters are matching so what will you do you will simply delete all three characters to make both the strings null and make it equal in that case we will be adding all three s e and a so finally moving on to the last cell we have to convert yes to e a t again none of the characters matches so you have to delete all the characters to make them equal in this case you will be yes e a t so if you observe in what pattern we are filling the values you will easily get the next value instead even looking at the string what is present there so if you observe we are just taking the minimum value from previous step and adding the extra character from the string simple we just going to check that is from this cell we are going to add e and from this cell we are going to add s and check deleting which is minimum in this case it is going to be es in either way so consider this cell here we are having s and e already and e and a already so we just going to add ea with yes that is e a yes and with this cell we are going to add a again it will come ea yes it is going to be same so simply we are not we just put ea yes 
three characters. We added the ASCII of these three characters. So moving on to this cell. We are going to add SEA with a A and AET with a S. Again, it is going to be same. Simply we are checking which will be having the minimum ASCII if we add one more character from the next string. So we are going to add take that string for our output. For example, if the strings are matching, then we are going to straight away update the same value because we don't have to delete any character. So we are going to simply up, update it here. So now moving on to this cell. So this cell says we are going to add yes and a and yes, e, a and e. So which is, which is going to have minimum ASCII? Of course, this is going to have minimum ASCII. So we are adding yes, a here. Now moving on to the next cell, we are going to have yes, a and t. Yes, E, A, T, and E. Which of this is going to have minimum ASCII? Of course, the first string. So let's update it with first string S, A, T. So moving on to this cell now. So now let's check. We are going to add S, E, A with E and S with A. So which of this is going to have minimum? The second string so let's update s a here so now in this case both the strings are same we are not going to delete any character to make them equal because they are already equal in this case whatever we had in the previous step we are just going to update it here so finally we have arrived at our destination this is where we are going to have our output so finally we are having s a t added to a and yes added to t which of this is going to have minimum ascii of course the second word so let's update yes t and here yes and t are the characters we are going to delete from both the words to make them equal so if you see we are deleting yes from character one and t from string two so they become e a and they are equal so we arrived at our solution so just for a understanding and representation and wrote this as string so this is the actual representation of our table or our array dp which is going to hold the ascii values of the characters that we actually wrote in our example and finally arrive at the destination which adds up to 115 and 116 that is the ascii of yes and t and we gonna get our output at the last cell of the array so now let's go to the coding part and see. So here is our code, which is very, very similar to what we had done for edit distance. And just a simple updation is instead of just storing the number of operations, we are just storing the sum of ASCII. So as I said, we are going to fill our first row with ASCII's of the string two and uh, the first columns with string one. Once that is done, we are going to iterate all the cells to find if the character matches, it is going to have the same value as that of previous step. If it doesn't match, we are going to check which takes the minimum, whether adding the already existing value to the character from string one or the character from string two. So we are going to take the minimum out of this and go for our next iteration. Once all that is done, we are going to return the value at the last cell of the array. So this runs in order of yum yum, where yum is the length of the string one and n is the length of the string two. As we are going to iterate through both the strings, it is going to run with that time complexity. Let's run. So thanks for watching. I hope I made it simple. Thank you.